This is Poco F7 and it is currently running on a latest Hyper OS based mod ROM. This is Zendroid by the way and it is based on Hyper OS 2.0216. This is basically based on CN ROM like uh, China based ROM latest version Hyper OS 2.0216. So developer is Abhishek and Abhishek made this wonderful ROM. In this video we are going to cover everything you need to know about this user interface battery performance and everything and even how it performs when it comes to gaming let's run the intro first thing first as all hyper os roms this feels smooth like it is very smooth App opening and closing, even switching to apps. They feel kitna smoothly. You can switch to apps. Uh, it feels so smooth. Even uh, I'll we'll, we'll go in the settings. Let let's explore other things. It is very smooth. Camera is the same as the stock one that we use, and all the sensors are working fine. Even two X is also same as the stock camera. Okay, and then. Let's get back to other things. Cameras are working fine, and uh, I didn't find any bug. But let's come to the video. Let's go to the setting. You get this Zendroid search option. You can search from here any settings. Then your Mi account. Then my device. Here you can see Zendroid name Redmi Turbo 4 because this device is also Poco 7 is also known as the Redmi Turbo 4 in China, and battery capacity, RAM, ROM. AMOLED display, all the specification, and then we have this detailed information about this ROM. See, the kernel is the same kernel. Octa core max 3.21 gigahertz, but there is few tweaks. Tweaks. Zendroid Abhishek, and let's get back to other things. Then we have this Z Zendroid and Z Lab. Yeah, here you can customize taste test bar. See, did you see this? Uh, when you click there it applies the just say whenever when you click this apply settings when you go to status bar see I'm in the status bar when you tap this all the settings are applied and refreshed okay iOS like dynamic island see when even I turn battery see this is dynamic island is working fine even when you connect a charger it shows a dynamic island like hyper OS 3 see uh, iOS like dynamic and when I'm connecting to the charger you can see the animation charging so the hyper OS 3 animation is added in this then we have this custom toast notification smart notification privacy chip camera and microphone and then dual 5g mode I have tested this and it was working and it was working dual 5g was working and then we have this time and then time format you can change it and then we have here the status bar clock style there's so many clock style like let me show you the 25 this is the status bar see the clock is changed this clock is changed so you can customize your status bar from here there's so many other customizations as, as well like uh, control center customization there's only four big tiles you can add a few more and there's so many even ios like modes are also there and then world super volume and everything you can see all these customizations and then we have this icon and style you can change battery icon there's so many options let me show you when one like we choose this now i guess i have good battery so and we have to tap it apply it will kind of reboot the ui see the battery icon is changed battery icon is changed you can customize like this vlt icons you can use any of these icon and then wi-fi wi-fi even fingerprint type animation you can change you can set a spider-man let me show you this spider-man when you set this see you see spider-man and there's so many pokemon fingerprint sensor there's so many icon animation for the fingerprint i love this iron man arc reactor see how cool it is 
you can customize it too navigation button you can customize i don't like to use this navigation button i like this then you can even customize more net default settings and everything then we have this spoofing let's come to the spoofing section you get a strong integrity by default i just you don't have to do anything when you just reboot you get this strong integrity by default but the key attestation was not working i just don't know why this device not supported not supported by this device i just don't know but the backing apps are working fine i have tested like hdfc kotak here is hdfc uh, all the banking apps are working even i have tested jio axis bank icic and all and then after that spoofing then we have this enable google play store spoof and then message spoof and higher fps in games yep fps is unlocked but gaming performance let's come to that part of the video then netflix spoof snapchat spoof yes you do get unlimited storage in google photos that's a good thing then we have this setting modes you can customize this setting too you can even change the device name set here poco f7 you can even change the name of this os and horizontal specs you can add horizontally and all then we have then we have this extra mode like one of the good feature is extra dim because i like to read at late night so here we get extra dim option power on surf you can change power button and then server for the theme list animation there so many animations are there and then modes rotation this is one of the best thing max fps all apps when you turn this on it feels buttery smooth but it takes battery it is written here and then enabling this might increase the battery consumption but even when you don't use this there is something wrong let's come to the battery part okay uh, by the way this this function secure flag you can take screenshot to the once view photos or like screenshot you can take screenshot from banking apps or any apps that prevent a screenshot you can use it and take a screenshot then we have this system shortcut developer option then data saver this is the extra dim that i use see it dims down more brightness like if you like to read it in late night but i suggest everyone uh, use phone at bright environment keep your eyes safe but i like to read at late night so i just turn this on and use the phone for better and then we dpi notification history this is one of the best thing when you turn this on notification history like someone messages you and deletes the message but the history is still here you can come and check it not pictures and all but yep message and all then we have diet equalizer then notification access all apps these are the shortcut for the diet like, uh this is all we get in this zen mode and then we have wifi working bluetooth working mobile data working interconnectivity is working nearby share even i have tried uh screen screen casting on my laptop and it was working fine even interconnection works fine and the best thing is when you go to the connectivity here you see this xiaomi share it is working smoothly fine i got around 100 mbps of transferring speed wirelessly that was one of the best then we have this personalization you do get latest hyperos 3 dynamic island creation you just have to log into your account and create dynamic wallpapers like this the moving one that's we call dynamic uh you do get these wallpapers as usual uh, always on display is working but for the 15 seconds only not full time uh then we have notification you can customize notification as well indicator percentage you can set here battery and all and then display you can set your dis like it is now at default but you can custom and set it to the 120 fps and per app you even get per app refresh rate and when this you you on this see how smooth it becomes more smoother can you see how smooth it became even when i see i'm going to show you how i switch to the apps see now see i'm switching apps all the history apps and it is smooth okay uh let's get back to the other thing by the way up uh, now let's come to fingerprint face unlock and everything is working fine safety is good privacy pro pro privacy protection is good you can access who apps are using your sensor and all and then apps everything is good but now comes to the battery 
दिस रॉम हैज द वर्स्ट बैटरी सी फर्स्ट टाइम आई गोट ओनली अराउंड एट आवर्स ऑफ बैटरी बैकअप ओनली एट आवर्स द वर्स्ट बैटरी बैकअप आई गॉट इन माई पोको एफ सेवन इज एट आवर्स I was using Hyper OS Simple that was giving me ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फाइव आवर्स ऑफ स्क्रीन टाइम विद बैटरी बैकअप बट दिस इज वर्स्ट दिस इज सोइंग फोर्टीन आवर बट लेट मी शो यू ये स्टडी वॉट जस्ट हैपेंड आई डिट टू का स्क्रीन शॉट सी ओनली एट आवर्स एंड एट मिनट्स एंड आई डिट चार्ज हंड्रेड परसेंट एंड वेन डाउन टू द हंड्रेड आई वॉज टेस्टिंग द बैटरी बैकअप बट इट डजेंट परफॉर्म गुड बैटरी परफॉर्मेंस इज लाइक लिटरली डॉन डाउन and if you use this rom for the long run this is going to affect your device so i'm going to flash another rom so i don't suggest anyone to use this rom uh, by the way i had talked with the ashik and he said he fixed it in the latest version and i'm going to create a video on that latest rom as well this is from the october and this comes with a september security patch uh, yep no this comes with october security patch and the latest version will come with september security patch so i'm going to create a video on that rom as well so do subscribe and like this video so that you can get the video whenever i upload you get the notification as soon as possible okay battery backup is not good in this rom this is what i want to tell you and then even when i use normal uses like instagram scrolling and all it does get heat i just don't know why so the thermals are ruined Uh, the developer literally. By the way, let's come to the Antutu score. When I ran Antutu for the first time, it scored one point nine million, and then again when I did one point nine million. The difference was only this twenty two thousand, and then here only uh, four thousand, one point nine million and four thousand. So this is the Antutu score. Antutu score. This is the latest one. But I want to tell you, the eleven point zero टू ओ बी टू जो था उस पर मैं पहले यूज कर रहा था ये तेईस लाख तक जाता था इट वॉज लिटरली गोइंग ट्वेंटी थ्री लैख सो दैट रॉम वॉज बेटर गिविंग बेटर बैटरी लाइफ बेटर परफॉर्मेंस इवन दैट वॉज परफॉर्मिंग स्मूथ वन ट्वेंटी एफ पी एस बाय द वे दिस इज जस्ट ऑक्टोबर एंड दिस डिवाइस वॉज लॉन्च इन जुलाई सो दीज रॉम्स आर इन बीटा फीज आई गेस सो दैट्स दैट्स वाई वी आर सींग ऑल दीज ट्रबल्स फॉर नाउ बट with time they are going to be fixed but thank you so much to the developer abhishek and many other developers who are working hard to create a custom rom for us like this thank you so much and then uh, let's come to the gaming performance in tdm it goes 100 fps and when you play irangle it goes 100 fps smooth but when you go to the event it goes to 60 fps because device was over heated matlab bahut zyada garam ho gaya tha तो ये पता नहीं कैसे अपने आप ही 60 एफ पे आ गया तो गेमिंग भी सजेस्ट नहीं करूंगा मैं आपको ठीक है कि गेमिंग के लिए ये रॉम यूज करो बट हाँ अगर आपको बैंकिंग एप्स वर्किंग चाहिए स्ट्रॉन्ग इंटीग्रिटी बाई डिफॉल्ट चाहिए तब ये अच्छी रॉम है बाकी कुछ अच्छा नहीं मिला मेरे को इस रॉम के अंदर बाकी देखते हैं अपडेट्स में ये सब चीज़ें फिक्स हो जाएंगी और आई होप सब फिक्स हो जाएगा आने वाले अपडेट्स के अंदर सो दिस इज इट थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो फॉर मोर वीडियोज लाइक दिस प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब लाइक दिस वीडियो and i do make videos like this related to custom roms and all this is poco f7 you are watching tekanusandan love you all bye